let's get ready to griddle. Hey y'all, how's it going? Uh, you can see it's yucky and there's not a cloud in the sky. Uh, this is all smoke and ash is actually starting to fall in places at times. The wildfires are bad. Don't do a gender reveal party. And whatever else is causing all this. A lot of it's sparking, lightning, cigarettes, cars misfiring, heavy equipment, weed eaters. We're a tinderbox out here in the west. I miss rain. I miss the rains down in Africa. Um, sorry, where was I? Red beans and rice. We're having red beans and rice today. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we'll find out. Um, what should we put on first? Let's start with a little bit of uh, veggie oil. Just to get things going. I see you admiring my spatula. It's the Blackstone Big Boy. And it was on sale. And now I need more Blackstone things on sale. It's good quality. Okay. Veggie oil. I chopped up some really nice smoked sausage. Look at that smell. Mm. Let's dump it on here. Put that aside. And I screwed up. We had some uh, frozen uh, peppers but we had to toss them and uh, I didn't replace them so I can't do the trilogy. I'm ashamed. Ashamed I say. I don't know how you can do anything remotely Cajun without the trilogy. We got the onion, we got the celery, but no pepper. I am ashamed. So, this is nice pepper. I mean pepper. Uh, sausage. It smells really good. Now I want a sausage sandwich. Once again, the griddle is on medium-low, as it usually is. Sometimes it's too low for my own good. But, makes it, I'm slow, so if I cook slow, I can maybe keep up with whatever I'm supposed to be doing. That's the theory. It doesn't always work that way, but it's a theory. So, we've got onions. I chopped them up. We've got some scallions, which I'll add it near the end. Rice, jasmine rice. I cooked in the Amaro cooker, stuck it in the fridge for uh, several hours, about four hours maybe. I don't know. I don't pay attention. You know that. Right, Baja? Even Baja is not paying attention. Yeah. What else did I cook in the cooker, you ask? Well, I could have used canned beans. I've got a Merrill cooker red beans. And I added a leaf. This is actually a bay leaf. It's amazing how many people don't know this is like supposed to be in food. Uh, there's bacon ends and pieces that I cooked with it. Um, 
We'll see how it goes. I don't know how it'll do on the griddle. But surely it will be wonderful. I am serious and don't call me curry. Get away from my food. Anyway, where were we? Low and slow. I could add the onion any time, but uh, the, uh, I want the celery to get a little soft. Give it a head start. Don't know what you are on my griddle. What are you? Go away. I think I was a piece of corn on the cob from yesterday or the day before. I don't know. Weird way. Anyway, doesn't that smell good? You know what really smell good? Green pepper with the meat and the celery. <laughs> Can't believe I don't have green pepper. I had a brand new full, giant full bag, but then we went to take it out and there was a hole in it, and it may have been something we did in transport, or it could have been that way when we bought it. And I don't want to take a chance on that. Oh, I know what that was. That was a string from the celery. Ha! <laughs> Silly me. Okay. Those are going good. Let's toss in some onions, shall we? There's also some uh, green onion mixed in here just to make it make it uh, something. <coughs> Mix it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Onion on the griddle, man. Onion and pepper on the griddle with the celery. Just sadistic. One day I'm going to make candles. Trinity scented candle. Onion, pepper, celery, maybe a little garlic. Garlic, you say? Boy, that's just crazy. Okay, I'll add some garlic. Uh, should we do it now? Should we wait? What do you say? Let's do it now. Whoa. The smell? Yummy, yummy. Let's get a big... Since we're going Cajun. Can't have enough garlic or too much bacon. No matter what anyone tries to tell you. So the sausage is just about there. I want to make sure it's got the uh, griddle crust on it because that's what makes it all good. The griddle man can, the griddle man can make the world taste good. Let's, uh, let's add a little ghee, shall we? Ghee. Homemade ghee. And we'll probably be adding more of this. 
Southern and or Cajun love you. We can mix this. Let's mix this. Da -da -da -da. Move it over towards your house there. That way you can keep an eye on it. It's interactive griddling. Interactive griddle porn. Coming soon to a theater near you. We're going to pass out scratch and sniff cards. We're going to uh, light candles with Trinity scented scents. Okay. That's looking good. Maybe some beans? Or some rice. What do you think? Let's go with the beans. I got bacon. Bacon. So yeah, I added bay leaves, bacon. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, there's another bay leaf. Yum. You can smell that right now. Uh, your nose is working better than mine because I can't smell it. <laughs> we got bad boy, bad. Oh, right? La, 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 la. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and start throwing all this together into one big mess, shall we? And also, I'm going to start embarrassing myself by using the two spatula technique. Actually, I'm just going to pretend and you guys can laugh at me. I'm old, okay? I'm not ambidextrous. I'm, I'm something. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's start out with this seasoning. Start with more ghee, just to keep it greased up. And uh, we got my salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, Mrs. Dash, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We've got some Cajun seasoning since, you know, red beans and rice, right, 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 right. And we have a little bit of Italian seasoning just because, 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 because. A little bit of aroma. Mix it up a little bit. Look at that. I used my left hand. Aren't you proud of me? Starting to mix up. I don't know if I'm accomplishing anything with two spatulas or not. But it makes me feel good. <laughs> okay. And can't cook without crystal hot sauce. 
I've mentioned it before. You can tell if it's a good southern restaurant if there's both Crystal and uh, the other brand. Uh, you know, the other brand. Um, and I've been to the factory. Tabasco, thank you. Uh, the Tabasco factory tour is pretty awesome. The, especially if you get one of the family to actually take you on the tour. Nifflini family. I can remember that, but I can't remember the word Tabasco. Go figure. Anyway, a uh, good southern restaurant has Crystal and Tabasco on the table. And if it's really nice, really fancy, they'll even have uh, some homemade pepper sauce on the table. Or at least pepper sauce. Yes, sir. -y. What do you think? Is it is it looking like uh, red beans and rice? Maybe. 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 Should we taste it? Should we taste it? Let's taste it. You want to go first? You want me? Okay, I'll try first. Let's try just a little. Needs warmed up a little. Hmm. It needs something. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. That sausage don't mean need nothing. Nothing. Oh boy, howdy, that's good. Okay. Let's, uh, let it stew a little in its own juices. Mm. I think that's enough to eat. I've got a spoon. Hmm. Oh, good idea. Mrs. Dash. Let's add a bunch of Mrs. Dash. What this did. Ooh. Ah, da -da -da -da. And I think it's time for green onions, scallions. Ta da! I like to put those on at the end so they're not wilted, they're fresh, they're firm. It really gives it a little bit of a pop. Let's see. Hop on pop. No, we'll, uh, Closer. Closer, closer, closer. Hmm. I think we're pretty much done. I'll uh, add more crystal to my plate. 
and uh, my lovely assistant isn't uh, a southern girl, so she doesn't appreciate the intricacies of hot sauce. Uh, so, I, I could drink it from the bottle if I had to. I wouldn't want to. Actually, I have. Uh, only by the spoonful. You know, when you're testing different hot sauces. And... It's like a Cajun stir fry, not stir fry, uh, red beans and rice, fried rice. Cajun red beans and rice fried rice or something. It's good. I like it, especially with a little more hot sauce. Which, for the safety of my lovely assistant, I won't add uh, to hers. Mmm. Good stuff. Anyway. That's, that's it for today, y'all. Uh, let's take it in for a close-up. Close-up, ah, close-up, close-up. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I really appreciate you sticking around for all this. And, uh, we'll talk to you next time.